Workers scoop rainwater dropping from the roof into the lobby of the Senate wing of the National Assembly complex after a heavy downpour, preventing movement close to the chamber. Many Nigerians have expressed outrage over the development as they hit lawmakers for failing to renovate the facility despite their huge annual budgets. The National Assembly building is the country's leading monument that projects the country's return to democracy, but this edifice is now at the mercy of what some call shadowy politics of renovation. The lawmakers had in 2019 requested for a renovation of the National Assembly complex at a huge sum of 37 billion naira, which they said was costed for its repairs by the Federal Capital Development Authority, or FCDA that is the custodian of national assets in Abuja. But Nigerians kicked against the costs, saying it was prohibitive. The public uproar made President Muhammadu Buhari's government to hold back its renovation. But lawmakers could not sail through, despite insisting that the building was due for renovation after more than 20 years since it was built. But with Wednesday's heavy downpour due to the leaking roof, there is now a blame game. Lawmakers are asking Nigerians not to blame them for the disrepair of the parliament building, despite having a 9 billion naira budget for general repairs. They put the blame at the doorstep of President Muhammadu Buhari's cabinet. When the sum of 37 billion was made as provision in the initial 2020 budget, the media went to town castigating and calling the National Assembly members all kinds of names. Now, at the end of the day, like we all knew, of course, the pandemic came, and at the end of the day, that amount was reduced to about $9 billion so that they can take the rehabilitation in phases. As we speak, nothing has been done until yesterday, like we all saw, the leakage across the complex. This is a vindication of what the leadership and indeed the Senate and members of the House of Representatives saw with respect to this edifice, which is a national monument, this is the house of Nigerians. Anyone who sees what we have here knows that this place is overdue for rehabilitation. It's even worse downstairs. So we went to see Mr. President to complain to him that there's need to rehabilitate or renovate the National Assembly complex after being used for about 20 years and not rehabilitated at all. This house is the house of Nigerians, not the house of members of the National Assembly. This place belongs to Nigerians and it deserves to be renovated. FCDA says the reason for the dilapidating roofs of the complex, especially the area known as White House, during the downpour is because no contract has been awarded to any company for its maintenance. The agency claims that the cumbersome nature of approving contracts by the Federal Executive Council has hindered the NAS building renovation as the FCDA cannot do so without budgetary provision or contract approval by the Cabinet. Until these bureaucracies are cleared, it looks like federal lawmakers will have to learn how to swim through the waters that may continue to flow in different areas of the National Assembly building during heavy downpour. A spokesman of the Federal Capital Development Authority, which maintains this huge National Assembly complex, says the major problem actually lies with the Federal Executive Council, which is yet to give a contract approval for the renovation of the facility after federal lawmakers had initially asked for 37 billion naira for its total renovation. So the agency is still awaiting the award of the contract to fix the National Assembly complex. Somnesambu, Arise News.